G'day and welcome to my garage. As you can see we're over at the milling machine. Uh, the collet chuck is holding the screws the shaft in the vise at this end and then I've got it clamped down at this end to keep it nice and sturdy. So uh, what I'm trying to do here is to make a 3 8 of an inch square drive that's uh, 9.5 millimeters. I've I've measured the outside diameter of that boss and it is um, 13.12 so from that we want to get down to a 9.5 millimeter square so that leaves us uh, 3.62 divide that in two because we're going to take equal amounts off either side and we end up with uh, uh, 1.81 millimeters to come off so that's about 60 thou uh, let's just turn this on and we're current let's see we'll make a 0.335 of a cut I've got two stops in place so I know where to uh, stop. Okay, okay. Um, now I meant <coughs> I meant to make a 0.35 cut, and because I haven't got uh, any clamps to hold the table along that axis, the Z axis, I suppose they call it, uh, it does creep. So that doesn't matter. It's the last cut that matters. Here we go another, that's, uh, we're up to one mil deep now. Okay, final, um, final pass on the last, on the last one. About point three under. under. That's all right. Done the a. Um, a drive, a 3.8 square drive. 
All right, I'll file this up and deburr it. Well, for the moment, these two are finished. I have to clean up uh, one of these journals because the um, it's that one. There's a there's a slight shoulder in there which I didn't realise, mainly because I'm blind. All right, so um, I should mark I should mark that, shouldn't I? That's the one I have to clean up. That one. So those two are done. That's all I'm going to do to these for the present moment. Cutting in half. Well, I, I didn't cut them in half just in case I needed to do some machining like that. So uh, they get cutting in half is last. Uh, the threading's got to be done. But for the present moment, they'll stay in this state. Now I'll make the, what's he calling them, the jaw screw bearings. These, these things. So that's um, two six inch by three eight bars. This is actually um, 12 millimeters, not nine and a half. That's, it's what I got. So it will do the job nicely. You have to mark it out, clamp, clamp the two pieces together, then drill, drill the clamping um, screw positions, and the four journal positions, and that'll be two half bearing caps or journals bearing caps also. Alright, so that's that's uh, the next thing. I'll have to clamp this and put mark it up. Okay, I'll get stuck into that. Oh, I forgot, forgot to mention the spanner to drive these. These are 3.8. I'm just going to use an old 3.8 um, socket extension. Work out some way of putting a, a handle on that, and that will be the that will be the driver for those 3.8 drives. Okay, plenty good enough for what I need to do, just mark them up. And I'm starting to um, undercoat the patterns. <coughs> I'm drilling out the, this is for the four jaw chuck. I'm drilling out the uh, screw bushing supports. Now, you notice I've got some aluminium rod in here because I've got two pieces. They never clamp e equal. Uh, I've partly drilled, not all the way through because I don't want that to drop down. But I partly drilled the first one. That's a peg to hold it um, all in line. 
and now I can drill the others where I can straight through started <clears throat> that's the only one there's two of them I think went all the way through all right leave it with me these are the uh, jaw screw bushings so there's a lot of drilling and tapping so eight eight holes in each uh, this side this is a half that's tapped I've already done done that I didn't show any of that because there's too, too many hands in the small place and it's a very crowded position where this drill press is but um, I'm now doing the clearance hole for the 6mm um, screws so let's continue on so the back of these have to be deburred otherwise they they catch and if you um, just push it through the job won't sit square in the vise. These got to be drilled out, four locations now have to be drilled out to 10 millimetres to take the 10 mil journal that's in there. Um, now I mark this out to the sizes gingery uh, mentioned. Um, I thought it was going to be pretty close, it's right on the edge there. Well, that, that's only a small head. If I use the normal bolt like he has, the head's a little bit larger. Not much, but a little bit larger. Oh, they can tell you These how much. These heads are 10.36. And this head is 11.3. Or eleven point two six actually. No, eleven point eleven point three six. So they're one millimetre larger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. One millimetre larger, which means this gap in between is going to be two millimetres smaller. That's why I've gone for a, a smaller head. I was actually going to use um, socket head screws, but I don't have any this length. I've got I've got one slightly shorter, and there it's about the same. Yeah. Yeah. Ten point seven six. So, anyhow, so I shall pre-drill these and then take them out to 10 mil. See how we go.
Yeah, the belts, uh, belts are slipping. Okay, back to the bench. Well, we're back. Let's put a bit of light on the subject here. It gets too bright, that's the problem. How's that? Is that better? Not really. Alright, uh, while you race back to the workbench, I stopped off at the vice and uh, paid some attention, attention to these with a sh chamfer and um, I just cleaned up these these holes so now now I've got to cut these into four separate blocks and if you did wonder whilst reading the book book why is the bottom one threaded and the top one's not because it's a clearance bolt because the bottom one becomes clearance also because the face the the front the front plate gets threaded the six mil or the quarter twenty uh, the reason the um, the back one is threaded at the moment is so you can bolt this whole thing together and keep it in in alignment and then also to keep it in in one piece when you slice between the two of them anyhow a uh, a little thought i might i might share with you so i will probably be over at the vice working out cutting this these into four separate pieces well i've uh, I've been up to uh, a couple of things. I, one I cut, cut one of the journals off. The other three I still have to do. Um, but I've just come back from the drill press. I've had to run a 10 millimeter reamer through those this holes. This is a reasonably new drill. It's never been sharpened, so it was uh, fractionally, fractionally undersized. So I've cleaned the hole up with the 10 mil reamer and I'm back um, so, and what else I've done is uh, this particular journal I've cleaned up because it was uh, it was a little bit under 10 uh, not about 9.9 9.98 on one part and 10.03 or something on this other part because if you remember you can't do from face to face in one go uh, I, I did now just to clean up but when you're cutting doing the original cutting you can't do it so um, the journal wasn't quite right so I've deburred all this I've reamed this uh, hole out I've marked it that's the ends Actually, this is the original one, so this will be one. Next one will be two, three, and four. Doesn't really matter as long as these halves go back together. That's the main thing. And then we'll put it on there. So this is another reason why I haven't threaded these um, or cut them in half yet, because we've still got this fitting up to do. And if I can find, there we go, the driver. Oh, I've changed the screws. These, these silly looking things, I don't know if I've already said, these silly looking things, they're Torx bit. And I thought, well, I've got Torx bit uh, at home. This is part of the Torx bit kit. Anyhow, I didn't, I couldn't see it in the shop inside the packet. Uh, there's a, um, there's a pin in the middle of this. It's a security torque bit. Comes with the tool. Lovely hole up the centre. Wonderful. <laughs> but I don't have a proper 
Well, the only driver I've got is is this handle, but the socket is so long that um, the whole thing just about gets lost in there, and there's a magnet in the bottom of that. So I can use it as long as I don't push it into the locking ring. But I've only got that. I can't put a spanner on. I haven't got a socket. This is a uh, quarter mil, uh, quarter AF. I haven't got a quarter AF socket. Thought I did, but no, apparently not. So, um, and then there's eight screws in the packet, and I and I need need eight. Where do I store this so I don't lose it? I'll end up losing it. I know I will. So. Yeah, well, what a waste. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Stop belly aching. So I'm changing them out. I haven't got the right length, right length at the moment. Um, I could. I want another five mil in the thread. But anyhow, I'll either get longer ones or I'll. Um, Mill a uh, counter bore in there. No, I don't want to do that. Not, it'll look terrible. I'll just or, I'll just order some longer ones. So any any of this 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 uh, one's t tightened up on the journal. Runs runs free. Little bit of uh, end play there. The uh, actual journal journal sizing is pretty good. So that's um, that's one. Obviously not finished. Nothing's ever finished. That's one. I shall work on the others. I won't bore you with all those. So yeah, be careful when you're down the hardware and you're buying these these things. Make sure you don't get. And it was called a security one, but I took it as the security round head round head security. I took it, it was a, uh, because it was a Torx bit drive, or a Torx drive, it wasn't, it was because the Torx drive had a silly looking pin in the middle, and it needs a special, uh, frustrating, frustrating, go away, I'll keep working. You may notice the lathe is turning backwards and the uh, there's a parting off blade upside down. Point nine, nine point nine. Let's see if that fits. That's a tight fit. Here we go. That can come out. Oh, 
Well, the four left hand threads are now cut. I've just got to take take these two over to the vise and um, cut these in in half. So we'll end up with four um, screws. They're looking good. And then this part will be finished. Next job will be the uh, the nuts that drive that the nuts that thread onto these left hand threads and then drive the uh, jaws. So let's go and cut these, clean them up, and then start on the uh, on the nuts, jaw nuts. Just go over to the grinder and um, take those take those bits off. And there we have two screws, total of four.